In this video, I'm going to show you how you can enable Boris FX Crumble Pop to work with DaVinci Resolve. So first of all, make sure you've installed Crumble Pop on your PC, and I would also recommend that you restart your PC. And then let's head over to DaVinci Resolve. So it doesn't matter whether you're using the free or the paid version of DaVinci Resolve as third party plugins are available in both. So let's start a project. And I'm going to click on the edit option in the bottom for this demonstration. And then I'm going to click on the effects tab. And then under the audio effects, the plugin should be listed under the VST effects. Click on that. So you can now see that no effects are listed there. So if you can't find them, what you need to do is click on the DaVinci Resolve option in the top left hand corner then select preferences and then from the system settings you want to select the audio plugins and then you can see a list of the crumble pop audio plugins available so the only ones which work with davinci resolve are the ones which have the restoration listed underneath the category these are the same as the other ones but these are for the standalone version so the ones you want to select are the ones with restoration on the end so select them put a tick in the box Once they're all selected, click on the save option. Then it will say the effects will only take effect after you restart the program. So click OK, close the program, and then restart it. So if I now go back into the effects tab and the audio FX and I click on the VST effects, we can now see that all the crumble pop effects have been added. And all you have to do is simply drag and drop them to your audio timeline. And then you get this option to edit the audio. If you don't want to use that, you can close that. And with the audio selected, you can then go to the effects tab on the right hand side, click on that. And again, you can edit the audio from this section here. So hopefully that helps you. Thanks for watching.